Hi Jalen. Hi. What are we gonna make today? We're gonna make a Chinese New Year lantern. A oh, Chinese New Year lantern for what? For Chinese New Year. And this year, Chinese New Year is on February 10th. And it is the year of the what? The snake. Wanna, wanna see one? Okay, let's see one of your lanterns. These are the lanterns that we made today. Oh yeah, how do you hold it correctly with the string? Just like that, and we're gonna make it together, right? Uh huh. Okay. We're gonna make another one. Okay. For Amanda. Okay. And here are our materials. We, we need, need cards, red envelopes, scissors, scissors, cool puncher, a stapler, and some ribbon and some strings. Very good. And you're gonna help me, right? Yes. Okay. First, let's count how many red envelopes do we need? We need. 15. Can you count 15 red envelopes for me? In Chinese, red envelope means hong bao. So you could pick these up at any Chinese supermarket or sometimes at the bookstore. They may carry it. Okay, now can you please count me 15? One, okay. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, let's put those to the side and count one more time. Make sure we have 15. Step. What do we do? Show everybody. We're going to fold up these yeah, cards. Fold it in half. It's called red envelopes. Red envelopes. In half. And the straight. Yes. Go like this. Mm hmm and we fold it up nicely. Okay, and you put it to the side and mommy will do the next step. So we do 15 of those. So can you continue helping mommy? Okay. So this is a close up of how you do it. So this is the red envelope. So the picture facing up and this side, there's nothing. So we fold it in half. Like straight? Like straight, that's right. Doesn't have to be precise or very neat. It's just a marking. So you can always do it. That's right. And this is step one. So we make 15 of these and we put it to the side. We put it like this. Okay, here you go. Thank you. So we make sure we do 15 of them. These are our Chinese decoration. It's just pomelo, orange, and a this is also called, uh, it's a yellow envelope, but it's also meaning red envelope, bringing good luck. And we have candy too. Yeah, and that's for Chinese New Year. And those are what kind of candy? Uh, fruit candy. Fruit candy, that's right. Want to come look at it? Okay, let's take a look. These are all ty different type of fruits and vegetables. Winter melon, ginger. Um, Carrot. Carrots, turnips, coconut, lotus seed. And we get to eat it on Chinese New Year Day. So we don't eat it right now? No. We're just preparing for it. Okay, now we fold it how many? 15. You want to see 15 of them. Okay. This is how we fold it. That's very nice. Now it's time to do step two. So we open. Can I have one, please? Okay. Now, maybe you want to follow too, Jalen? Grab one. And then you open it. Show everybody how you open it. Okay. Now, everybody, this is the folded part. Now, you open it. Okay. After you open it, you, you fold. Side. Yes, you do. Just like what Jalen's doing. What you're going to be doing is folding these two corners in. You see you made the crease right here? So you could, that will be the center. So you're going to be folded this corner in to make like a this. triangle. Like this. Very good. Then we pull That's up one side. The yeah. And then now uh, you do the other side. See how it doesn't really have to be even because the paper, you don't want it to rip. So you just want to make sure you have that triangle because we'll like be stapling this. it. 
that's right, we'll be stapling it so you do it with all four corners. So you do it right here again. And open it and the other side. Follow the crease and make the triangle. So you have a total of four sides, four corners folding in. And you just have to do it to all 15 of them. So again, Jalen wants to give her demonstration, everybody. Okay, why don't you do your demonstration for everyone? So, first we fold up these, like, like this. We fold it up straight. And then we do the both triangles, like one on the top, one or two on the bottoms, like I already did. Can you show now, them how? Now I... Now we fold up the bottom, and I already did top, and then another square. Triangle. Triangle. Folding up the bottom. You don't really want to rip it, it's just the material. See? That's how you make it. Very good. That's step what? Step two. Step two. Very good. Okay, now we finish with step two, which is having how many of these, Jalen? Fifteen. So we first step was folding it in half. Step two was folding all the four corners in. Now step three is you would need your cool puncher stapler and start stapling. So right now let's pick up one, and then Jalen will keep passing me one. Okay, pass me another one, Jayla. One. Here okay, you go. There's two. So how do we start stapling it together? Okay, this is. So you find one corner. Okay, then you find the next corner from the other side. So to make it nice and neat, you want to make sure the picture is upwards, all facing the same direction. So you find this corner, which is the right corner, top right. And now this one will be the top left, and you staple these two together. Corner to corner. So you would see something like this. And then where are you going to staple? You will staple as close as you can to the crease. Okay? To the crease. This crease. Right. So you have these two corners together. And now you're going to put the stapler here and staple right at the crease. See? I'm at the crease. So now we're going to staple. And this is how it looks like. See how the staple needs to wedge in? It's right at the crease. There you go. So you would have something that looks like this. And you're going to do f total of five. So each corner. So you, again, can I have another one, Jayla? So make sure it's facing all the same direction. Top right to the new one. Top left. And you put the two corners. <laughs> corner to corner and close it up and, close and punch there you go and you're gonna punch staple it at the crease what's a crease mean? crease is where you folded it so now you have something like this you have one two three so there's two more. Can I, I have another one, please? More. Thank you. So also same direction, top right to the new piece, top left, corner to corner. These two corners, corner to corner. Close it up, and then you staple at the crease. Now 
now it looks like something like this. Now one more. One more that makes what? Five. Five. So this piece, you're going to stay full. Same thing. Top right to the new piece, top left. Put two corners together. And you staple. And then next for the ribbon. Then you have one piece. Let's open it. That's five. So you have one these two corners that's open. So you put these together, close it up, corner to corner, then you staple on the crease. Now you open it up. You have a flower. So how many pieces? One, two, three, four, five. So you need to make one more of these. So you put this to the side and you start all over. So you grab two pieces. Again, make sure it's facing the same direction. Top right to the new piece, top left. Two corners together. Mommy. Close it up, and you staple along the crease. And how many do we need? Five, and I have the three right here. Okay, can you pass me another one, please? Thank you. So we start, continue. Make sure facing the same direction. Top right, top left. Two corners together. Close it up. Then you what? Punch. Staple. There you go. And then now you have three pieces. Can I have another one, please? There you go. There you go. Take this one another corner. Upright corner to corner. Then we staple. Then we staple, that's right. Staple increase. Now we have four. That's no, the we last one. fifth one. Do you staple? How do you guys staple? Okay, now we have two flowers. Each flower consists of five red envelopes. One, two, three, four, five. And here's our second one. So these serve as top and bottom of the Chinese flower or the Chinese lantern. So now we have five more. So a total of 15 red envelopes we use. So it's five here, five here has 10. And now we have five more. Three. Four and five. So this time we're gonna staple it a little differently. So we just grab one of our flowers. Okay, now look at on the side view. This is the top, this is the side. You see these two flaps? Instead of stapling this way, now we're gonna be stapling it by its side. See how's this? These two flaps is gonna be connecting with these two flaps. So how are we gonna staple it? We're gonna staple it one corner at a time. So this corner with this. So we're gonna staple at the crease. Okay, this is how it looks like. So this is the corner we did not staple yet. So this is the top, how we faced it on the side. We stapled this end by the crease. Now we're going to do it with this end. So this corner with this corner, and we're going to staple.
this is the side view. This is only one envelope we did. All these in here and here we didn't do yet. So by holding it this way, let's turn it to another corner. Now we take another red envelope and we staple it. See how this corner is already done? This corner is done. So now we have these two corners to do. So what we do is staple. You might want to follow the design. If this design is facing it this way, so we want to follow it to make it nice and neat. So we're going to staple this corner. You see it? This corner with this, and this corner with the other side. You see? So it might be a little confusing, but just make sure every corner needs to be stapled. So with this, we're going to do this corner. This one is flapping out, so we need to attach it to this corner. I'm gonna staple. So again, so we did one, two, and now three. So. Now you take your bottom piece and you staple it together. Top piece is up and down, middle piece is sideways, and now you're going to attach the bottom like that. But before you do that, you want to use string okay roughly about 24 inches you're gonna fold it in half and then cut it then you're gonna find any random cardboard this is actually the leftover from the packet of the strings I got so you're just gonna cut like probably an inch of the cardboard going to use the cardboard as a stopper. So while you fold the string in half, you're going to staple this end. Actually, you tie a knot first. So you won't so the string won't budge. Tie a quick knot. Then you put it inside the cardboard. Like that and you want to staple it so the string won't go anywhere. You could probably do two staples. You fold it in a little bit like this, like a square. And you can slip it inside here, randomly anywhere. You just put it in there. You just throw it to the side. And then we're going to finish off our lantern by stapling the ends. So this is our closing part. So we're going to staple, pick a corner. Let's start right here. 
and then we pick a corner. Now the design is going to be upside down. So we find right here, corner to corner, triangle to triangle, find the flap together. We're going to start stapling again on the crease. Right here is one. Now we're going to do the other side. So we're done with this one. We find the next flap that's hanging the bottom with the top flap. Then you staple these two together. You might see this folding up, you just push in. So the next piece here with the triangle next to it together. Line it up, staple on the crease. So this one. So now we have this flap here. bottom, put it together, and staple. Final piece. See these two? Top two, triangle with the bottom two. So back them up, stick little. And this will be our last part. Staple these two corners together and staple at the crease. So here we go. So after the last part is staple, you see this piece hanging out? That is our stopper. So you're trying to put it in there. Tighten this string up. And you let go. If you like, you could find a corner and staple it in. But this is the finished product. If you have a tassel, you could connect a tassel to the bottom. So if you find the center, how it's flowing, and you could probably use these red strings and make a tassel. It'll look very pretty if you hang it from the bottom like this. Some stores sells the tassel, and some you can make on your own. I haven't made the tassel yet because I don't have I don't know how to make it, but I think it still looks pretty like this. So we have two right now. So if you like, you could also do an extra step is, you see these corners, the shop corners? If you don't like the look of it, you could pull these two flaps together. You see how I've done so? And you could staple this together. Let's do one, okay? Staple this part together. It's just folding in the sleeves. You might need to use a smaller stapler, but let's try it. With the other one, I didn't. I just left it as it is because I thought it was pretty enough. But if you fold this in and you staple it, you see how it's rounded? You can still see a staple. I don't know. It might not look too pretty, but if you staple all of them together, it's a different design. So that's why it's very important that you staple by the crease so you give enough room for it to hold together to staple.
I bought a really thick red envelope, so this doesn't bend as well. But if you buy the paper thin ones, it might be easier. Do you see how I stapled these together? Now it looks like a flower. So any corner you see, you can staple it down. See, after all the corners were stapled down, now you have a different design. It's more of a round effect versus the other one that you didn't staple down. This one was like maybe like a star kind of flower, like a starfish. So all I did was staple all the shop corners down. Any corners you see, you staple them together. And then you get this effect. Again, if you could if you know how to make a tassel, a tassel on the bottom would look really pretty. I'm going to learn to make it. Or if you know any craft store that sells it, you can also purchase it and glue it at the bottom. And it'll look like this. Okay, Happy Lunar New Year to everybody!